Let's see here. I think we were just inside the manor. I just checked my last video. It is surprisingly hard to remember what you're actually up to episode to episode in this game. Because all I think about is the puzzles, not the... Like, that's the big distracting thing that you spend all your time on. Hey there, Professor. I bet you're here to solve my puzzle. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, of course I'm right. So, That's a lot of picarets. An excess of picarets. Two boys are playing a game in which the goal is to take the longest route possible from point A to point B. As shown on the map below, the only rule is that no section of road can be traversed more than once. Uh, what course should they take in order to cover the longest distance possible between point A and point B? So... Basically just like, how do we... Cover as much ground as physically possible? Ah! Sure. <laughs> it's kind of hard to check your math if you know what I mean. I'm like, I don't know. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right. No. Okay. I'll try a different one then. Give another shot. As a general rule, you should try to cover as many of the roads as possible. For example, it appears that the boy who walked the green path covered quite a bit of a distance. Showing the dotted lines, the road passed up on this, this way from point... As however, as shown by the dotted lines, the road this boy passed up on his way to point B at a quite a distance. Is that my drawing? No, I did that way. Basically, just there, there are some long roads that will help make up for it. Okay. Once again, passing up on the spot that they were recommending a minute ago. This is probably worse. I wish there was a, a measuring indicator of some kind, like how far I've gone. Just because I don't have any idea how long my line is. So I'm like, am I doing good? I have no idea. How doth one know? Ah. I guess I'll just try over and over again. I don't know. Damn it. I suppose I thought wrong. Is there a way to get every single outer road in the pattern? Doesn't seem possible because there's like this big complex interior here. It's a witness lion puzzle, right? You can't like. Lol. Look at me, I'm hacking, I'm hacking. Like, that's not... That's not the premise of the question, right? <laughs> hmm. Because, like, it's, you can't really get every single long piece of road, right? I feel like this can get frustrating very quickly. <laughs> and by which I mean it might already be getting a little bit like that. Cause it's like, I don't, I don't know how long these lines are. Ugh. 
this and this are the same length. I can't get any of this interior. Can't wrap around there. I can't get any of that up there because I went that way. Like, you very quickly get extremely restricted on how much you can do. Like, their advice they give you, it's like, well, it's technically advice, but it does not massively impact what I can get away with. I guess I should come up with the numbering system. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Right? And that's the last count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Yeah. So twenty-two is my current high score. Then I have to remember. Even if I do get a, even if I do decide that some number was my highest one, I then have to remember how I made it. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's less. Kind of looks like more, too. The problem is, can I even recreate my 22? Do I remember at all how I got a 22. I don't think I do. Is it- was this it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... <sighs> 1, 2, th 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I don't even remember how I got it, shit. Veto. It's not an interesting puzzle. <laughs> there's no, there's, there will not be an epiphany moment where I'm like, aha, the clever trick. I just have to try a billion combinations like the slag tile puzzle until it's finally over. Like, that puzzle sucks. Like, I could get it eventually, but like, it's not fun. And there won't be like, oh wow, I'm so clever. I solved the clever solution. Never, just never saw that coming. I bet you think I'm smart for noticing the, the, the twist. Like, I don't think there's a twist. <laughs> or I'm being a ma massive fool in front of everybody. And there is a twist, but I don't think there's a twist. I think it's just like the sliding tile puzzle where you're like, cool, thanks for putting this in the game. Hey, Professor. Looking busy as, as usual. Yep. Oh, just got this puzzle I just can't figure out on my own here. Can you lend me your thinking cap? Oh boy. Below are six linked rings. They may look like a tangled mess, but there is one ring that, if cut away, would leave the remaining five rings connected end-to-end -end in a long chain. Uh, which one would you cut in order to make the chain? Choose one answer from below. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's probably B or E, which look like they're interlocked into a lot of things. I'm noticing that F is only locked into E and not locked into C. So that primes the idea that that's the beginning and the end of the chain, maybe. That might be a bad logic. Let's see. I was just thinking you could split it. You could split them there. But does that help? So B is locked through A and D, but not E. Because it goes under on both sides of E. That means that they're not actually linked into each other. E is linked into F and C and D.
The goal is essentially to make it so that every single one of them is linked into one, in, in, into two other ones, except the ones on the end. The fact that C is already only linked into E and B, and F is only linked, linked into E, I feel like the C and F are the ends of the chain, maybe? Or they could be? But that doesn't feel like it entirely makes sense. Because if you got rid of E, then F is not linked to anything. And if you got rid of B, then F and C are both linked to E. This would be a long chain. How do I reconcile F and C then? Like if you get rid of B, then it goes A to D to E, because those are all linked. But then E is linked to C and F, and they're not linked to each other, so that wouldn't be a long chain. I assume they mean a straight line, essentially, like you could straighten it out. But if you get rid of E, it drops F entirely. If you get rid of D, that shouldn't do much. Because E... E is not connected to B. Oh, it is D, isn't it? E is connected to C, but not to B. So F can hang off the bottom of E. So it'd be F, E, C, B, A. A is linked to B. B yeah, okay, so it's D. It. Smile for me, it's been weeks. There we go. I was missing that. The approval of a father figure. Okay, there you have this thing I said. Ah, so that's how you do it, yeah? I can finally rest at night. This thing was bugging me for days. Let me tell you something neat. And by neat, I mean terrifying. Oh, cool. <laughs> Things that I've actually been... I've actually seen that old man with the big sack coming out of that tower up north. I bet you dollars to donuts that he's the one behind all these disappearances. I wonder what he does up there. Wait, no. I don't even want to think about it. It's just too scary. Uh, books. More puzzle? Nope. Nothing good could be said about that tower. I heard it's all sorts of scary. You should stay away. Yep. Uh, s still no luck finding the villain? What not a world we live in? Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of fiction, I just thought, thought up this little gem. Please give me your honest feedback on it. I pr it's impossible to remember everyone's voices anyway. <laughs> There's too many people. Oh my god, what am I looking at? Alright, several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other as shown. The lines represent areas where one sheet overlaps with another. It's the edges. The thickest point of the pile, how many sheets are overlapping? So I need to find the spot where the most of them are overlapping. So I can just throw you in the garbage. It's definitely not gonna be, you're not gonna be part of it, I don't think. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Let's just count left to right. So one, two, three, four, three, there, four, five, four, three, two, one, there, probably. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I keep saying it as a question. The number is five. Uh, uh, uh. Unless it's not. Let's find out. Smile for me. Yeah! I did the thing. 
We're gonna go. Beautiful work. Uh, but I, but I think the puzzle... I think the puzzles I write into my next novel will be even harder than this one. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure you'd have an utterly fascinating puzzle prepared to you by, for you by then. Gizmo! Hang on a gosh dang minute. Shit. Oh. I thought we were done. He's got a forehead now, but he still needs an ear. He got me all excited. My excitement was lies. He's gone. Alright, bye. Since you come down to the uh since you come to the town hall, I strongly advise you follow town procedure and solve this puzzle. There's no context. It's just puzzle. Hey, you know the people do puzzles? There's puzzles in the people with puzzles. Puzzle. Do it. Oh my. It looks like someone has been writing nonsense on the blackboard again. It turns out, though, that under certain cer uh, conditions, these strange equations are actually correct. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Correct. 8 plus 6 also equals 2. Uh-oh. Assuming the <laughs> above to be true, what does 7 plus 6 equal? What? <sighs> Hmm. 8 minus 6 equals 2, 8 plus 6 equals 2, 8 plus 6 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. It's two digits. <laughs> How does 14 become 2? Do you, do you flip the equation upside down? Because 8 is 8 upside down, but 9 is... 6 is 9 upside down? But 9 minus 8 would be 1. And flipping it upside down would just make it 9 plus 8, which is 17. Which is also just... the regular-ass number. Um... Are we supposed to just, like, accept that 6 equals 0? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, are we supposed to substitute values for different... Like, numbers for different numbers? Are we supposed to count... Something about the shapes? In some way, these numbers don't mean what the numbers are, apparently. Right? That's the idea. You're lying to me! Mm. 8 minus 6 is 2, yes. 8 plus 6 is 2. No! <laughs> Be 14. Oh, god damn it. 14 o'clock is 2. Ah, uh, 14 o'clock is 2. 1400, whatever you fuck people call it that use that clock. <laughs> so eight, if it's 8 a.m. and you add 6, adding 4 takes it to noon, and then 2 will take it to 2. Okay. Well, 7 plus 6 is just 8 plus 6 minus 1, so it's, it's 1. Right? Right? Correct. There we go. Okay. See? That's a puzzle where you have epiphanies instead of just being like, I don't know, I'll just stare at this grid and with a piece of yarn until it's the longest yarn. Thank you. Let's do nicely. Now, please vacate the premises. I need to vacate my bowels. If you don't have a form to file or further business here, I strongly advise that you scram. 
That's strongly advised you're fucking rude. Yeah. <laughs> good, good come back, you got him. You got him, he'll never recover. I'm always angry every day. Oh, this time I've really had it. I thought I thought up this great puzzle, but I couldn't find anyone to tell it to. <laughs> I'm not even trying to contextualize these, basically. You, ha you have at your disposal a large number of tiles, like the one shown below. Uh, if you were to take these tiles and try to make a square, what is the fewest number of tiles you need? Four? Maybe? I don't think the height matters. Unless you're gonna stack so many of them that it's a perfect square. You still couldn't do. Yeah, it's 10 by 12, which is uneven. You put the 12 side here and the 10 side that way would stick out slightly. I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, I, mm, I could be wrong, but it'd be really difficult to visualize, and there's usually there's usually not they usually not being that hard about it. But I uh, I think if you if you rotate the tiles at all, it gets to become a really complicated pattern that'd be difficult to to make consistent at all, let alone uh, even. So I guess we're gonna assume. That's perfectly even, and that it's just gonna be the same tiles laid in the same direction in the normal pattern, but eventually the 10 catches up with the 12. Okay, so. We're gonna take these tiles and try to make a square was the fewest number of tiles that you would need. So I figure in order to make these even, if you put if you put it out in that direction. I guess in this direction. Is this an optical illusion? Or is it just wrong? Is this side bigger than that side? Even though it's said to be this is the one that's bigger in, in number. Anyway, if you put ten rows in this direction, then that'd be 120. And if you put twelve rows in that direction, then that'd be 120. So ten times twelve is also 120. So it'd be ten in one direction and twelve in the other direction, and so overall. The entire grid of that would be 120. That's the easiest way to do it. The question is, can you do that? Can we get away with, with having that? It's a side that's 12 inches. Multiply that by 5, and you get 60. Multiply that side by 6, and you get 60. That's 5 times 6. It's 30. <laughs> uh, Yeah, the, the side that's 12 inches, you multiply that by, you put five of them side by side, and that should get you 60 inches. 
if you put six of the 10 inch ones that's not side by side then that gets you 60 inches so those those are even on both sides that works so then you so said then yeah that's five times six would be would be 30. uh can we do can we reduce this even further i guess the question is what is the first time that you adding a series of 12s to each other will end up on a number that ends in a zero which, in that case, it's 60. Because the 2 has to essentially loop all the way around to being a 0. Which takes 5 times, which is 60. So, yeah, that's probably, that's probably correct. So the dimensions become 30 inches, which takes 30 tiles. 60 inches, which becomes 30 tiles. Probably. 30, alright. Am I correct, though? My answer. Smile! No. Uh, I suppose I thought wrong. Try pushing the puzzle from a different angle and see where it takes you. Are we gonna use the freaking? Are we gonna use the width after all? Uh, yeah, if you stack 20 of them on top of each other, then it would be 10 inches tall. And so if you view it from that side, it's a square. That is a smaller number. Luke, here's my answer. Da 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 that's what I said. Ah, uh, come on! I was really telling you the answer and everything! But no, you had to go rule it by answering it before I said it was okay, didn't you? Did you? <laughs> Have you ever considered the strong possibility you might be a jerk? <laughs> you look like you're jerking pretty aggressively right now. <laughs> Whew, Ray sure works up a mean appetite, I'm starving. Okay. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking for this time? Want to rest a minute and solve this puzzle? I'm just laughing at this man forever. It never stops. Two corporations have put out help wanted ads. Aside from the information below, the two companies' offers are exactly the same. From a purely financial standpoint, which one should you work for? Company A will pay you $100,000 a year and give you 20 a $20 uh, year raise yearly. Company B will pay you $50,000 every six months and give you a $5,000 raise every six months. So two corporations I put out help wise. Doesn't say anything about how long you work there. So we don't, we don't have a time limit. So I guess we're just adding it infinitively. Infinitely? Infinat- inf infinitum. So, getting paid $100,000 a year and $50,000 every six months is the same. So it's all about the raise. there a trick to this one so twenty thousand dollar year raise means that you get paid twenty thousand dollars this year forty thousand dollars next year sixty thousand dollars next year and chart this out 20 40 60 amounts to 60 and 100 80 would amount to 180 100 would amount to 280, right? They're just adding the last year's number plus the new rays. So you're adding you're adding the the running total to the current rays each time basically, right? 
That should make sense. Did I fuck that up? <laughs> 20 plus 40 is 60. 60 plus 60 is 120. So it's how much you've made so far. It's supposed to be my goal, is what I'm trying to calculate. So if you made 60... Yeah, so this is the running total, so then you just add the next column each time. This is 200. 300. And on the other side, you have every six months that... This is going to be a pain to calculate that way. Which means you make, uh... It's, uh, 15. Because you make 5,000 more dollars the first six months. And then you make ten, the, they give you another five thousand dollar raise, which means it's ten thousand. Just to keep that detailed, I guess. So fifteen. But then the next one's going to be fifteen plus twenty, which is twenty-five. 25 plus 15 is 30. 40. Then the next time is going to be 25 plus 30. 55. 95. Then it's uh, 35 plus 40. I'm not waking up as fast as I wanted to today. <laughs> but it's like, you gotta do the puzzle game eventually, whether you feel like you're at 100% or not. Uh, more math than I want to do right now. Alright, 170. And I admit that there's probably a faster way of doing this that I'm supposed to be picking up on. But I'm not seeing it yet. Like 265, right? I wanted to see if there's a trick here because it seemed immediately obvious that $20,000 raise yearly is better than a $15,000 raise a year, right? Like, right? So the gap here is 20. The gap here is 25. The gap here is 30. The gap here is 35. Like, you're losing... There, there isn't, like, a trick hidden in the numbers, as far as I can tell. Because my first reaction was to immediately be thinking, like, yeah, $20,000 raise every year. That's better. Because if you get a $5,000 raise every six months, then you're getting $5,000 the first six months. Then you're getting $10,000 the next six months, because it's $5,000 higher than last time, right? But that's still just $15,000, which is less than $20,000. And that, that, that this should stay ahead forever. Right? <laughs> this is a bunch of bonus math just because I was like, it can't be that obvious, right? It was immediately obvious what was right. Am I wrong? Tell me. What? There's only two choices to answer. You know now which one to choose, but is why is it that you earn more money with it? Uh, teach me, bud. Clearly I've missed something, but I'm curious. Here's my answer. Wow, you're so smart. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Clearly I'm wrong about something about how the math works out, which is why I hate finances. Fuck you. Uh, as seen in the image above, you actually calculate things out. You'll see that the salary in company B will always be 5,000 higher than the corresponding salary of company B, A. Why? Oh, it's, is it be, I guess it's because the first, the first $5,000 bonus starts before the first $20,000 bonus, I guess is the logic. 
I really do not want to calculate finances for fun. <laughs> well. Oh, you did it. Okay. I, I guess I should give you some info as a reward. You know Lady Dahlia, right? She's planning to keep the fortune to herself once it's found. And you've been helping her all along, you dumb fuck. Do you feel dumb? <laughs> That's actually what she said, basically, mostly. <laughs> Boy, aren't you a big dummy. Everyone laugh at you. 